Commission was happening, we could see announcements being made by commissioners. Can they explain how that was happening? Yes, uh, the constituency returning officer, after going through the process and uh, the, the, the verification, which was very, very thorough, by the way, uh, I remember in the beginning it took a lot of time because of the uh, scrutiny of those uh, uh, 34As and the uh, 34Bs. Mr. Chairman, you yes. know, when you say it was very thorough, Queen's English, probably now King's English, it's good to explain when you say it was very thorough. What do you mean? Because all the agents had a chance to look at all the forms, and if there was any issue, then it would be brought to our attention as a commission and is resolved before that result is announced. And in fact, uh, at the end of the day, then after everything is clear, then the commissioners would go and announce the result. I announced the first uh, result. I think that was will be East, and then I, uh, I, the rest were done by the commissioners. So you are saying it was thorough? Yes. Involved everyone? Yes. The commissioners also? Yes, everybody was involved. Right. Yeah. At any, was there any point where, and I mean particular, Commissioner Irene Masid came and said, this, what you have verified as the results, looking at the portal or what was scanned at the polling station, is a problem or is not correct? I'm not aware of uh, any, any such uh, issue being raised by Commissioner Masid about the results being or not being correct. Not being correct. Yeah. And this announcement you are saying you did the first one. Who did the other announcements? And how many announcements were there if you have the numbers or you know have how many were remaining? Who were doing them? We have uh, 291 uh, returning officers for the 2022 general pre elections, presidential elections. And uh, all the the, 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 the rest of the announcements for, or for the results was done by the commissioners. I don't have figures as to who announced uh, how many, but the rest of the commissioners did the announcement. We will get to the point where Commissioner Irene Masit appears to have an issue, but did she make announcements herself? Yes, she did. She, she announced quite a number of uh, constituency results for presidential election. And in, during her announcement, did she raise any issue? Um, you're asking me to announce this. I have a problem. Or did, were there any issue raised? Not from Commissioner Masit. Uh, uh, maybe the other commissioner, one had an issue with the depilation of results, and we resolved it, and they went back and announced the correct result. I think okay. that was Commissioner Nyangaya. In one area? In one area. One, one of 291. Yes. But nothing from Irene. Nothing Masit. from uh, Commissioner Masit. Right. We move to uh, paragraph 47, 46, flowing 46. You've said you did the first one, and you've talked about the objectives. Yes. Now, we then move to 47, all the way to 52. You said there was a slow progress, right? And you talk about changes done, and I need you to explain, was it a single, uh, you solely making uh, changes or proposals? Was it a commission, 